Well, hello, welcome to another one of my painting videos. As you can see, we're going to do a darker color canvas today, a little bit of blue and a little bit of uh, green on our canvas. Uh, we started out with that, so uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so we're going to start today with a little bit of the blue. And we're going to try to do some northern lights today. So northern lights are very, very pretty. And if you're lucky enough to see them, they're very, very pretty. I'm going to start off by making a few shapes like this on our canvas using the fan brush. This is just to outline where we're going to put our northern lights. And in northern lights you see all kinds of colors. You see yellows and greens and reds and blues. Basically every color that you can imagine in there. All the nice bright colors. Okay, now, since we've got a little outline of where we want to put our northern lights, we're going to take a bigger brush here and we're going to go into a little bit of the white, a little bit of white color. And where I put the transparent color, the blue and the green underneath, I put the white in. And it'll look just like that. See? See that nice color? There we go. Now we're starting to pick up the green here, you see? A little bit more white so you can see it better. There we go. Now, I hope you'll bear with me. This is my first time doing Northern Lights, so hopefully it turns out just the way that I want them to turn out. If not, that's okay. Painting is all about practice. There we go. Okay, we're going to add a little bit more white to this. Go up like that. See that? See the nice greens and bluish colors it's picking up? Really, really nice. Really nice. A little bit more of the, little bit more of the white color up there. There we go, something about like so. Okay. Well, isn't that pretty? It's beautiful, isn't it? Very, very pretty with Northern Lights. Maybe add a little bit more white color right there so you can see them a little better. A little bit more. There we go. As you can see, they're not even, but as I said, this is my first time doing them, so if you can. Uh, Bear with me in that regard. Okay. All right, now <clears throat> we're going to take a clean brush. This is a clean brush right here. And all we're going to do is just go right up here and just very gently go up. Go up like that. And it blends right into 
right into the can right into the painting. See that? There we go. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay. Now, once we have the northern lights put in there, and again, it looks pretty good for the first time. I think it does anyway. We're going to take a little bit of white. We're going to make a little mountain here. And maybe this mountain comes right up here and comes down oh, right about like that, like so. Maybe a little bit of Sago Blue, a little bit of Crimson. Kind of a purplish hue to our mountain. There we go. I started with white, but I was ahead of myself right there. I was going to put snow on it, but not until a little bit later. There we go. It's really, really scraped hard. Pull that down. Okay, now we're going to put a little bit of snow on there. Now we're we're up to the part that I wanted to get to. <laughs> I was a little bit ahead of myself, as I said. I'm going to put a little bit of snow right on this mountain here. There we go. There. Bring it right on here. Now, some of the colors of the lights are mixing in with this, and that's okay because maybe there's a little bit of a reflection off the northern lights that's coming down onto the mountain, you know. Maybe there's a little bit of a reflection there. And that's that's what makes it so nice as well. There we go. Okay. All right, now let's get our fan brush in here and we'll take a little bit of alizarin and crimson, a little bit of phthalo blue, and a touch of green, a little bit of green. Okay, let's go right on up here. Now maybe we got a few little trees hanging out here. Just about like so. Maybe they come right in front of our mountain here. Who knows? Right in front of our lights. There we go. Doesn't matter where you put your trees. It's up to you. It's your piece of work. Artwork, so it's up to you where you put these things. I'm just putting these just in a little spot right here, nowhere in particular. And look at these trees showing up in the lights, that's pretty, that's very pretty. You can pick out where they are because of the lights and stuff. Okay. All right, now we're going to clean off the brush. And we're going to wipe it off in a paper towel. And we're going to start again. Now we're going to add a little bit of the white here. And we're going to put a little bit of snow on these trees. Just a little bit of snow. 
but not too much because these are far away. You're not going to see much detail. So I just want enough. And I'm just hitting the brush against the canvas very, very lightly because you're not going to get much detail from far away, as I just, as I just said. Right here. Now maybe what you could do is you could make it a little bit darker back here and lighter in front. That gives the illusion of some distance. Maybe there's an extra layer of trees behind that. Okay. And you can see right in there. It's very, very nice. And it's picking up the color that's on the canvas. So some of that other color is showing through. Okay, now maybe we're going to put some little trunks in. So I've got a little bit of white on the brush, and I've got my fan brush upside down here. I'm just going to go like that, very faintly, very lightly. And maybe that'll give the indication of a few trunks. There we go. All right. Now let's stick with our fan brush here. Go into the white. Maybe we've got some snow right up here. So I'm just going to do this with my fan brush. Right about like so. Now, if, you're, if your base color is showing through, just add a little bit more white color to that. There we go. That looks better. Sometimes the base color shows through and snow becomes a bluish color, which is also okay. Snow has a whitish, bluish tint to it sometimes. Maybe it comes down here like so. I'm not sure. All right. Okay. Now, right here, we're going to add a little bit of reflection. So we're going to just pull down. You see that? It's picking up the color from the sky and the lights. Look at that. It's making some beautiful reflections. See that? I'm going to paint, use the other side. Okay. Okay, there we go. Like so, and then just go all the way across. And just like that, beautiful reflections. Okay, so now what I think we're going to do is we're going to add a couple little trees in here. So we're going to clean off the fan brush again. And we're going to go back into our dark color, our crimson, and our blue, and maybe a little bit of green. Okay, maybe up here. Maybe we've got a little tree. Maybe it's a big tree. Who knows? Comes right down right there, right in front of our little forest of trees that we made. And maybe right right here, he's got a little little arm. Right there. And right there, maybe a few little limbs. Now, I'm going to do something that I haven't done on my video yet. I'm going to use a piece of aluminum foil, put some leaves on these trees, some little, little tiny leaves, maybe they haven't blown off. So I'm going to take my foil and just put it in my white paint and my blue paint. 
like this. And we're just going to stick that to the, to the tree and just like so. See that? It's a new, new method I learned just recently with the aluminum foil. And it makes a great little, it's a great little uh, technique. I never knew about it before. Very easy to put little leaves and whatnot on your tree. There we go. All right. That looks like a looks like a pretty frozen tree there. <laughs> okay. Tell you what. Tell you what. Maybe I'll take this little tiny half inch brush here. Maybe there's little little icicles hanging from the hanging from some of the some of the branches or some of the leaves. Maybe it's really, really cold. Okay. All right, now maybe as well, maybe we can make this trunk here look a bit a bit old. Bit ragged, so we'll put a little bit of color into it. Okay. All right. Let's go back to our foil here. <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to put a few little bushes right in here. So we'll go back to our foil, and these are already covered with, with snow, so I don't really need to add any other color to it. Maybe right in here, I've got a little, a little bit more paint ran out. There we go. Down again. Maybe this comes all the way down here. Creates a little little inlet or a little, little cove right in here. There we go. Maybe there's a little hill too. And you don't have to do this, you can just use a, pan, a, a regular paintbrush, but I'm just showing you this new method that I learned very recently, and works for me, so. If you want to do this, that's up to you. If not, you can use your paintbrush. Right here. I find it pretty effective. There we go. Maybe up here. <laughs> All right. Maybe up here we got a couple of big trees just sitting right here. There we go. Maybe there's one right there. Maybe there's an evergreen tree right there, right in front of the bushes. There we go. <clears throat> Maybe there's another one right there. Okay. And you can still see the bushes in behind there. So that's 
That's great. I'll tell you what though, I'm going to extend those a little bit because it doesn't doesn't look right with those trees hanging out over like that. So I'm just going to going to make those a little bit bigger using my coil again. Bring it all the way over here. Okay. All right. We're going to our blue and our white again. We'll put a little bit of snow on these things, on these trees. All right, now I'm going to take my knife here, painting knife, so wipe it off first. What I'm going to do is put a little, put some little sticks or twigs in here. And there's a little, few little limbs or whatnot. Just put these limbs anywhere, basically. Okay. Tell you what, maybe, maybe we can get a little bit more of a white, but that snow looks a little bit too bluish. I'm gonna put a little bit of white on there. And just go over this over the snow again. This time I'm doing that with a two inch brush. Maybe we can put that over the trunk of the tree. You see that? There we go. Alright. Okay. So that looks like a finished painting to me. I hope you uh, enjoyed the first time I've attempted these Northern Lights here, and uh, hopefully in the future we'll do another one. All right, thanks a lot for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll see you next time.